Okay, but is that true? I mean, you know, a lot of times we we build the the sort of sterile stuff first. It's not application. Right. Are they kind of like, what are we doing this for? They don't know yet. Um. Yeah, they don't know. Right. 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 But but I teach them that first, so that they know how to because. I, when they do the analysis part, I want them to be able to have maps I can put up on my wall. If they don't understand map layout, then I can't really put the map on my wall. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, so you do, you say, states A. So there are going to be several different states items that are in that folder. And I spent a little time prepping each of these just so for you. In our little sneaky little devilish way. So what we want you to do is now to go ahead and go through the rest of what you see as part one and part two and then part three. We're going to go through those first things and we want you to do this practice problem that is at the very bottom. For rejection, for looks. So we start playing this until we get the pink guy who we can't change lined up with the blue guy. Uh, uh, like uh, 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 See how it's undefined. But now you've identified what the projection is. It still says it's undefined. Right, right now it says fine because you have to define it. still doing it. <laughs> you have to, you have to then, if you, if you export that data and save the PR, save save the projection information of that data frame, it will then uh, create a PRJ file for that data. Does that make sense? It's not good. <laughs> if they sit up, if they sit up and you see them engaged and you see the adrenaline kick in, it's pretty good. And you can read books and you can do anything, but you can go by room and you can feel it. You can either go in a room and you can feel like you want to pass out, or you can go in a room and you think something's going on in here. And that's the whole deal about these strategies. Okay, having said all that, we have we've been in here, a, is it, have we been in here eight days? <laughs> <laughs> we've, been here, we've been in here a day and a half. Okay, I want you all to, I don't even, you don't have to raise your hand, just tell me, tell me some strategies that you've seen us do. My energy level kicked up in here when Laura gave out the puzzle. I saw this little group over here. I saw, I saw those two men back there. They went, and they're on the computer. And they're, just, they're into that computer and they're trying to figure it out. And that's where, like, okay, something's going on here that's good. Okay, so could you tell me how we did different assessments of these activities? As you get out of it, it's really, really good. This one is... I mean, this one took some time. I mean, it's five years, and and so and Lance took more time than the school-based one. This is the last one I was going to show us. Now that we have some data logging companies have really started to well, understand, wait a minute, anything we measure, you might have Vermeer or Pasco or Fourier, um, all make these data probes, and I'm holding one in my hand. Um, this is just a pH sensor. You can put that in the water, and they start to say, wait a minute, what if we just hook a GPS unit to it? Okay, and so in the GPS, you can turn that on. Okay, if it's two and a half seconds, it's a half a mile. So the second, don't worry and just hide someplace. <laughs> it's too close. But it's what's coming off of the satellite is a timed signal. And it's very accurate. It's to the atomic accuracy, and it's, it's, it's calibrated every pass. It goes over one control point. But it doesn't lose time. It's the most accurate timing system that we have. Satellite, like Satellite 31. Does anyone else have Satellite 31?
we had lost all of the olives back here to the last fire, but every single one of them is coming up from the base up. So we're real fortunate. Uh, we're going to be helping to guide their, their growth a little bit to get them to fill out. I got the bell, I'm flabber, Lord, I got the bucket of lawn. We establish ourselves. There you go from the cross and think over there. I'm flabber, Lord, I got a bucket of lawn. Ain't got no blue. Chickens in my backyard. Got corn in my crib. Cotton corn in my backyard. Hello, Joseph Kirsty here at Banning Historical Ranch. Got the GPS unit here, and we're at about 40, 34 degrees north latitude, uh, 117 west longitude. You can see the uh, mountains here in Southern California moving down uh, on the San Andreas Fault, which is running uh, just over this way out to the west. Uh, right along here. Uh, down this way is Palm Springs, and uh, you can see the giant, giant wind farm down there, uh, located there, of course, because of the uh, winds that blow through this pass here, Banning Pass. You can see that uh, this area is frequently scorched by fire, and one about three years ago left these twigs, about depressing vegetation, uh, growing up here. Uh, new growth. One of the many ravines in the area, and in this case, housing a perennial stream, which is, of course, why the ranch here at Banning uh, was located uh, where it is. So there you have it. Live at the Banning... Historical Ranch, Joseph Kursky reporting. Get out there and explore the world. It's awesome. Well, I, I asked and I made the limitations, but he can change them, but at least you'll have the feels to keep track of them. and there's even new stuff that you're going to be um, doing and seeing tomorrow. But it is Thursday, and it is time to sort of begin the reflection process um, about the really important goals, some of the really important goals that we had here, or, or had for our institute. And if you remember, our goals were sort of that three-legged stool to